Hello, this is Solar PV TV from the 8th uh, Desert Energy Leadership Summit and actually from the last day from the visit of Al Maktoum 200 megawatt solar project here in Dubai and I would say uh, one of the deliverables of the DII initiative, yes? So who would like to start, guys? Maybe we we'll start with Chairman, with Paul Vanson, uh, who is the Chairman of Desert Energy. Uh, one of the founders and the guys who was pushing for the initiative and later we'll speak with Cornelius, as I always say, uh, the most famous German guy here in uh, the Middle East. So, uh, Paul, how do you like this uh, deliverables? Well, uh, this is fantastic. We, you know, we started in 2009 with the idea of desert energy mm -hmm. and we see it here realized and also at a very low cost. This is competitive with gas power plants, so this is the best you can imagine. There's almost no maintenance. You, this is a, a, an installation you can run without any people. Maybe a little bit for cleaning, but that's it. So this is the future. In the future, the whole world, the whole planet will make use of this technology to uh, generate electricity. And now let's switch to uh, Cornelius. So Cornelius, uh, you are still quite fresh, yeah? even though last week you were working very hard. You are calling all the guys in the region, uh, calling the guys around the globe uh, to bring them to the event. And the event uh, was uh, quite successful, yes? Yeah, well, we had, I would say, uh, following the tradition started in 2010, we had a number of uh, guests, long-standing friends. Many actually were at the very first summit. There are even a number of people who attended all eight summits. And this is, uh, this is great. So we've uh, been establishing this network over time and it's more alive than ever. And you see that when you're connecting people, uh, you can really move things and make an impact. And that's what you see here. So, you know, DI has always been working indirectly, uh, creating the conditions for projects and uh, accelerating the development. And that's what we've been doing. So we've uh, had guests from all over the world, many guests from Asia. We have a shareholder. Uh, SGCC uh, from Europe, Petaterium. DI has been starting as technology neutral initiative with uh, three main technologies, CSP, PV and wind, but of course also grids and uh, the view was more entire power systems. Now we started a storage working group, uh, even hydrogen. We had Professor Art van Wyk here, for example. Uh, we looked at e-mobility. We had a guy from Silicon Valley from eMotorworks. Uh, Sergey. Smart cities, exactly, Sergey. So it's a much broader. You came from Moscow. You came from Moscow, exactly. So it's it's about uh, you know an emission-free power system, and uh, our mission is no emission indeed. Okay, I would like to now ask uh, Paul because uh, Paul, uh, your first idea of desert uh, initiative was to uh, build uh, solar projects uh, in Africa and to export this uh, energy to Europe. Yeah? But since then, technology evolved so much, the cost went down so much, and uh, actually you changed a bit the strategy, yes? Well, uh, actually the, the, the purpose, uh, emission-free power supply, was from the beginning, and it is really not a, a matter how the power flow will, if it is from Africa to Europe or from Europe to Africa, we, we don't care, as long as it's emission-free. But you're right, the technology changed a lot, uh, and also the cost. And what we see now is that we can, uh, or the, the, the countries here, they can develop their projects, they can turn their uh, fossil-based uh, economies to emission-free, renewable-based economies, and that they, they are doing this kind of projects, like PV and uh, solar thermal technology, uh, wind technology, there is even hydro. And, and, uh, uh, While building the industry in, in the country, yes. And, and a lot of uh, local jobs and industries, that's an that's important point. That they are not dependent of all kinds of uh, countries as such, but they have had their bases here and are also able to export electricity on the, on the long term and maybe even technology on the long term. Because the, 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 the new thing that we learned is that energy or the electricity will become very, very, very cheap in this uh, region. So this will also attract energy intensive industries. So I would like to now ask you guys, because every year we are learning something more, yes? And we have, uh, let's say, new findings. So which were the major findings uh, during these two days? 
Well, uh, findings is a good uh, question. I think more than findings, we identified a number of topics uh, to work on also during the roundtables. We have this roundtable concept and the roundtables are very interactive. Uh, you can select three out of nine topics and both for the chairman of the roundtable who are also moderators of working groups, there was a lot of ideas, a lot of input in this interactive discussion. So we, we get that input for our storage, hydrogen, hybrid system uh, working group, we get that uh, input for our solar desalination working group, for the grids, grid integration. So uh, I think immobility, uh, immobility, absolutely on smart uh, cities, smart cities, connected systems. So uh, we co we collected all of this and we will now incorporate it in the working groups. And uh, so let's say that it will be kind of like a guidelines for the action plan, yes, and for the working plan. Absolutely, it's kind of a guideline, and you know we develop this interactively um, with our partners. That's. Uh, uh, the most important thing so the partners they give us the guidance and BSDI we provide the platform we, we moderate and make sure that there's progress on the work so now I would like to ask Paul because Paul is one of the pioneers yes of renewables in the world but did you learn something new uh, first of all what I, what we have seen is that the interest in the region is really accelerating and uh, one big topic uh, which may come up is, one, for instance, hydrogen, really. Cornelius already mentioned it. Hydrogen is a, is a, is a, a medium to bring uh, energy to store it and to bring it from A to B, also long distances. Or actually, at the end of the day, if it's about uh, uh, exporting energy, now this region is doing this with oil and gas, and that can be in the future via hydrogen. So let's say that like uh, bringing new uh, business model to the uh, region, yes? Yeah, absolutely. So it is about, for example, to develop potential business models of storage. Storage is not about uh, storing electricity. You have to look from the system. So it's about how to integrate and what role storage of different kind, electrical energy, storage, thermal storage, storage, solar cooling, solar heating could play. And we integrate this in the system uh, from a system point of view uh, where it makes sense. Okay, so I noticed also that uh, uh, recently you have been acquiring a lot of new members, yes? Yeah, well, we have uh, six new members announced at the summit. In addition to ThyssenKrupp and Al Jihaz, there is Europa Grid, a unique company uh, working on merchant models for interconnections. We have newer solar technologies here from the region. Very exciting company. Um, We're going to visit them tomorrow. Exactly, the, the factory, and it's uh, in test uh, um, operation already. We have uh, a global group, Navigant, with uh, uh, different brands of consultancy, also Ecofis uh, is part of this. We have uh, Amana, which is a UAE-based uh, contractor. They have been involved in uh, Jams, in the 100 megawatt uh, CSP plant already. And uh, so this is, uh, this is quite exciting. And we have uh, actually more members in the pipeline, which cannot yet be announced. So, uh, what next uh, in the strategy of uh, DII? Well, the AI, uh, our slogan is now uh, emission-free power supply. So we are looking for all technologies, all uh, projects, all uh, movements. Actually, this is uh, the implementation of the COP uh, uh, process, the international uh, COP process, to, to make this really work, to, uh, to get the attention of governments and, and the political support to create these conditions. So that's the for the coming years. Uh, the team of Cornelius here in Dubai will take care of a couple of people that this will run and that with, with like 10, 20, 30 uh, companies, we will really make this move. So the last question to Senior Vice President of uh, DII, Cornelius, in bullet points, why the companies should join you during the next year? Well, the network is unparalleled. Indeed, we are more a network of networks. We are uh, unique in the market because we are a group of industries backed by the industry, but we have uh, science and research like Max Planck Institute, long-standing cooperation with Fraunhofer. We have cooperations with a number of different associations uh, from the industry, uh, like Messia, like CBC, but also like uh, the Arab League, more on the political side. And we are the only initiative, the only group think tank in the market with this holistic view, uh, both from a system, from a technology point of view, uh, but also geographically speaking. And actually, we've been working already much uh, more beyond just uh, the, the MENA region. So uh, I, I think this is unique in the market. And uh, you have also media. <laughs> Uh, exactly, exactly. So this helps as well. And uh, we've delivered 
let's say, tangible, concrete results and uh, could make uh, quite a significant impact uh, since 2009. So uh, this gives us credibility. And uh, even on the university side with the Desert Tech University Network and uh, uh, I think this is really unique and, uh, you know, companies, they prepared massive business already over the last few years and uh, it is uh, a very good way in really boosting the business as well, uh, joining the eye and really moving things, moving the market. And uh, together we are stronger. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so thumbs up for solar and for all the technologies which are helping the world uh, become emission free. Exactly.